Hello everyone, after this video you will be able to change uh, progresses of player stats uh, using a keyboard button uh, that's created for test purposes and uh, you will be able to change it with animation or without animation. So here it is how it looks like. Now let's start. Hello everyone. This is the second part of tutorial about creating a character stat component. In this video we're gonna be able to change our character stats by some uh, button. Uh, so let's open character params component that we've created and uh, create a function here and call it set health or Maybe change, increase health by value. And it will receive two params. First will be uh, value. Second will be if it is changed animated. Let's uh, test it with health for now. And uh, let's open a character, BP, main character, mm, no, we can add it here, I think, and let's uh, add in this component a uh, keyboard, for example, button J, debug key J. And if it is pressed, then we're increasing health uh, by value minus 15. And not animated. What this uh, function will do? It will get health, decrease its value by by a value, and uh, get and set health with a new value. But we should claim this value by minimum is zero and maximum is max health. And after that, we need to update to call a function that we've created in the widget called update progress bars. So uh, this component needs to know about this component and let's in begin play get character get component by class and user interface component and promote it to variable user interface component Okay, now let's open this component and we should add a function here called update character stats. This will get will be hot and call update stats. No, how is this function is called update progress bars. Update progress. It's not the be best naming, as you see now, but you can change it how you want. So that's all here, and I will uh, close user interface component, close main hot component, and uh, back to character params component. Increase health by value, we're getting user interface component, and calling update character stats. Now I've also made some changes in visual look of a widget. I've just changed a little bit material but it's still uh, a circular progress bar and uh, everything that I'm doing here will work for you as well. Now let's press J button and nothing happens. Maybe that's because this key is not called here. Let's make a print. 
in which it would be called only in a character and not in a component. J, no, it is called J is called, and progress is not updated. So value is minus 15 and increase health by value. I don't know. Uh, we should not increase health by value to subtract. We need to add. And this goes to value. Now let's check it again. And nothing happens. Okay, let's see why. So we are getting our health, That's, that is 100 by default, adding minus 15, clamping it between 0 and 100, setting new health and calling update character stats. Here we are calling update progress bars and updating them with values. Okay, maybe in my new material I just call the progress with incorrect name. I will check it now. I have parameter percentage. Yes, I have parameter called percentage, not a progress. So in your case it should work. In my case I will call it percentage. And that's how it works. Now, uh, this is for case when we are calling uh, not animated. And I want uh, it to be decreased, um, not so sharp, but to, uh, with some animation. And unfortunately, we cannot create uh, timelines in uh, actor components. Or maybe we can, but I don't know uh, the way. If it is so, please uh, tell me in comments how to do that. And uh, to make something uh, like a timeline, we have to start a timer. So on increase health by value, I'm making a branch and plugging animated here. If false, we are doing this. And if true, We are going to create uh, a new function, I think. I'm not sure about how to do that yet. So let's call it increase value now increase health by value and here on true we will set timer by function name. Here it is. And uh, the time will be maybe zero, 01 and it will be looping. What it will do is uh, we need to call a function and provide it with, uh, let's make a new function, call it set health value animated. And uh, what it will have, it will have a desired health value, so let's call it desired health. And we have a current health. So this function will be called every time uh, until, uh, okay, in health let's also create a new variable called uh, health animation timer, it will be timer handle, and it goes to health. So what this function does, it's called every time the, when health animation timer is called. Okay, now let's get health in this function
desired health and uh, let's add an input current lerp alpha and it will be a float and we are getting a health and uh, where we will lerp between uh, health is b no health is a and desired health is let, let me check 100 of a when alpha is 0 and desired health is b and alpha will be current lerp alpha then we we'll get setting a new setting a new health somehow like this now increase health by value let's also create groups for functions call one health and here we would have get health ratio increase health value animate here we are calling a timer and function name will be Uh, set health value animated mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay by the way we cannot let me check what is a timer handle make timer handle it has nothing so by by the way we cannot bypass some parameters to a function here so desired health and current layer alpha uh, cannot be parameters here so let's create them here in our variables and call them desired health and uh, current animation alpha and by default it is zero desired health by default is zero let's remove this all and uh, plug desired health into b and current animation alpha into alpha after that has changed we should increase current animation alpha for example by zero one zero one and uh, clamp it also clamp between zero and one and set a new one so that the current animation alpha will never be uh, higher than bigger than one after the change we're checking if uh, a current animation alpha not a current if uh, before this we're gonna check if current animation alpha is already one if it is already one let's get current animation alpha equal to one and if it is not then we're changing it to this if it is true then we're stopping our timer so we're getting timer and calling uh, stop timer timer pause timer by handle and uh, invalidate timer handle Okay, we'll clear and invalidate timer handle. Let it be so. I I will pause it. Uh, I will not delete this just for case. If clear doesn't pause the timer now, what we're gonna do is in increase health by value, we are calling this function 
request create and timer and also we should set health animation timer here but before that we should uh, set our current health to now if current animation alpha is not equal to zero I will tell you why we are doing this. If it's not equal to zero, then we're setting our health and setting desired health. Why we're doing this? We're doing this because uh, just for case when uh, we've called this function increase health by value. And uh, until it has finished, we are calling this function again. So, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna momentarily set a health to desired health that is currently animated. And we need to reset all the values in this case. So, let's put it here and current animation alpha will be zero and uh, current health animation timer will be paused and clear that's it now if it is false then we are setting uh, just setting desired health to a new value and the new value will be uh, health plus this value clamped like this and colon timer and uh, let me think will it work i think it should work let's check it now let's make it animated and run Let's call G. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Uh, increase health by value. Set health value animated. Okay. Error is zero one second. We're setting the desired health to a new health and running a timer that calls set health value animated. So it has called it once. Then current animation alpha plus zero one. Um, okay, let me print string here. It should work. Okay, this parameter is called and let's... Oh, and after every call of this function, I forgot to call update character stats. So let's put it here. And now yes, it is called and uh, also one thing that I forgot is to after I've done all of this, I need to call this function so that we're starting new animation and animation is sharp now let's uh, go to set health value animated and change the way we're updating current animation alpha from 0 1 to 0 0 1 
and in timer I'm gonna make it look every zero zero one second and that's how it looks like now great uh, maybe that's not the best way to create such an animations also uh, please write in comments how it should be done uh, it's the first time i'm making an animation now we can do uh, we should create the same things for uh, stamina food water and the scepter so that's all for the video i think uh, we've created a way to increase and decrease values of a health bar and thanks for watching